Hello, sports fans and football fans. Guess what came today? My Stratomatic order, my football set. Now, I originally had thought I had ordered the 2021 teams and the 1972 teams, but I did not do that. I only ordered one of them. And this is, uh, hmm. There we go. There we go. So, we'll get this stuff out of the box. And then we will take a good look. You know, then they did. They put they put Miami right on top. They put the Miami D. <laughs> I mean, they knew. They knew what team everybody wants to see. So there's, I mean, we're going to take a closer look at some of these cards in a minute. But that's that, and then, uh, you know, of course, the rubber bands, and then here's the rosters of all the teams. Now, my Bears were horrible in 1972, but the Dolphins, as you may well know, were undefeated. So, without uh, further delay, let's take a look at some of these cards. All right, so here are the cards. You can see here we're going to fold these a little bit but here's the Miami defense and it is excellent against passes and excellent against runs so there's a quick look at that I mean that that's pretty much there what the defense looks like what they'll allow and uh, who do we have over here we got Bob Greasy there's uh, there's Bob Greasy's passing card. Now, he only attempted 97 passes that year because he was injured, which is, makes it even really more uh, astounding what they were able to do. Um, yeah, and then Earl, Earl Morrell, Earl Morrell, was really the guy. And... Uh, and even he only attempted 150 passes. I mean, you have to believe they were primarily a uh, running team. And then you got uh, right over here, you got Jim Kick's card, 3.8 yard average. And you got Mercury Morris, a 5.3 yard average, 1,000 yards rusher. And Hubert Ginn, I don't know about him, but anyway. So here you got the Jets. The Jets defense, you got to figure they were still probably pretty good back then. They're average to poor against passes, though, and average to poor against runs. So there's the Jets defense. Again, I'm not going to look at everybody here. We're just going to take a quick look. There's Emerson Boozer. Remember him? He, he played in the Super Bowl in Super Bowl III. 4.6 yard average. John Riggins. There's a young John Riggins right there. 4.6 yard average. And then uh, Bob E. Davis was a quarterback apparently for the team. And only completed 45% of his passes. So let's see what else we've got here. And there's Johnny Unitas. Johnny U. There he is. Baltimore Colts. 157 passes attempted. 58 or 56.1 completion percentage. Uh, Don McCauley. Running back. Don Nottingham. Let's see who else we got here. The Baltimore defense. Let's see what that was like. Uh, average to good. Average to poor. So there's the Baltimore Colts defense of 1972. Let's see what else we got. So here we got the uh, we got some of the bills and there you go. Let's see where is it? OJ. There's OJ Simpson. 4.3 yard rushing, 1,251 yards on 292 carries. Not a, not a bad card. 
Jim Braxton. Leo Hart, quarterback, only attempted 15 passes, probably their backup. New England Patriots of 1972 had a poor defense, poor against passes, poor against runs. And there's their defense at a, at a distance. You can bet I'm going to be playing games with these teams, probably with the 72 Dolphins. Um, yeah. And their quarterback, the Patriots quarterback, was Jim Plunkett. Only attempt or only completed 47 and a half percent of his passes, but for 2,196 yards, and he passed a lot. So you can see he passed a lot more than the Dolphins um, and the uh, and you know other teams' quarterbacks. Here's the Pittsburgh defense. It's excellent and excellent. Excellent against runs, excellent against passes. The Steel Curtain, 1972. Pittsburgh Steelers. And let's see if we can find Bradshaw in here. Yeah, we can. And there's, there's Terry Bradshaw. 47.7% completion. 1887 yards on 306 pass attempts so he wasn't really the greatest uh, quarterback at passing was he Houston uh, the Houston Oilers they were average against passes, poor against runs. And that's their, uh, there's their defense. Quick look at the defense for them. And uh, let's see if their quarterback, Kent Mix, is that who their quarterback was? No, he only, Kent Mix only attempted 63 passes. There he is. He was probably the backup, though. There it is, Dan Pastorini. Dan Pastorini was their quarterback. 1,711 yards passing, 299 attempts, 48.2% completion percentage. So there's his card. The Oakland defense, let's see how they were. They were good and good. So there's a look at their defense. And uh, looks like they had, yeah, Daryl LaMonica was their quarterback then. And there's Daryl LaMonica's card. 53% completion percentage. Of course, really guys back then didn't have the completion percentages they have today because there was no West Coast offense. When you passed, you passed it downfield. But uh, well, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Kansas City defense was average and good. So there's a look at their defense. Some NFC teams. The uh, the Eagles. Eagles were average to poor and poor. There's a look at their defense. 1972. It looks like Pete Liskey was their quarterback then. I mean, he attempted 138 passes for 973 yards. Dallas, the Dallas defense was 
average to poor and against passes and excellent against runs. And there's a look at their defense. And Robert uh, Robert Newhouse was a running back. There's Robert Newhouse's card. 4.1 yard average. Only 28 attempts though. And there's Roger Staubach, Navy grad. Only 45% passing though on 20 passes. So he probably wasn't the main man that year. And then uh, of course the Green Bay defense was good and excellent. Good against passes, excellent against runs. And there's their defense. Quick look at that. Well, anyway, that's about all I'm going to take a look at right now. Just a quick look, let you guys see. I got the 72 set in the house, and uh, we will be doing a uh, we will be doing some 72 game, 1972 games. Maybe I'll play through the uh, Dolphins schedule and see if they can be undefeated again. But anyway, that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.